So today we're going to be learning about subtraction. We're only going to subtract things that are tens and below. We're not going to go on a double digit numbers today. So we're going to start our unit on subtraction. So how many by a show of hands of you guys like to eat candy? Me too. <laughs> so, we have 10 pieces of candy, and we want to eat, we're really hungry, we're starving, and we want to eat six of them. What we can do is take away. So, let's count our pieces of candy. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We want to eat six of those. So we're going to take away one, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. How many pieces of candy do we have left? Four. One, two, three, four. So we have four pieces of candy left. So subtraction is when you take one number and then you take another number away from it and you get the difference. So, so if we wanted to write that as a number sentence, so we'll put up our 10 pieces of candy and then we take away, how many did we eat? Six. Six which would equal, what did we say was the difference? Four. So this is the same problem we just did. We just did it in a subtraction sentence. So the subtraction sign, or the minus sign, means that we're taking something away, and the equal sign shows that we are, or this is, the same as, or equal to which we should remember from addition. So. Let's do another problem together. So if I have five bumblebees, and they are buzzing around their flower, and they are just loving <laughs> life, loving <laughs> life, lots of bee down. Okay. So I have five bees and they're all sitting on this flower. And they decide four of them have their own bee there anymore. They fly away. So we're gonna out of here. So we take away one. Oh. Uh, Just leave that one there. Yeah. Two. <laughs> three and four of our bumblebees are gone. They're really gone. They all flew away. <laughs> they all flew away. So we have One bumblebee left. <laughs> <laughs> so you can either, when you do come across subtraction problems, you can draw them out like this. You can use, of course, you wouldn't draw bumblebees all the time, but you could. You can draw circles or squares or something like that. And or you can also count on your fingers. We have five bumblebees, and we take away one, two, three, four. We have one bumblebee left. Let's start with a another sentence. So this is our subtraction sentence. So everyone can read it with me. Eight, Eight minus five, five equals three. three. So if we had this subtraction sentence, we would have our one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight would be our first whole number. And then we're going to take away <laughs> one, <laughs> two, three, four, and and that would get our difference of one, two, and three. 
So next we're going to be going into four groups of two, or since someone's absent today, you can join this group. And we're going to be using your shoulder partner, your other partner that you're with, and we're going to go over one more lesson or one more example before we jump into our first one sheet. Just to make sure you guys totally grasp this. You have seven balloons. And three of them fly away. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four. four. So, today we learned about this little sign. What was the sign again? 
Minus sine. And what is this sine equal? Or equal. is equal. <laughs> right. So, Charlie, please stand up. Elizabeth, stand up. Katie, stand up. And me, stand up. So, we have four people. You guys are all going to the store. You're pretty hungry. You need to, uh, <laughs> yeah, you need to go shopping. So, there's four of you. Two of you get lost on the way. Charlize, you sit down. Lee, you sit down. The two of them, they got sidetracked. They got lost. How many of you are left? Two, two right? Yeah. So, we realize that four minus two equals two. We can do that. We can draw things. To represent, we can count on our fingers, we can draw pictures on papers, we can think about it, picture like people as examples, and then we will use minus signs and equal signs to get our different. Okay, so pack up, let's go to lunch. <laughs> <laughs>